So let us come back and learn the next topic after your, uh, your rate law rate constant. And now let us learn this topic called order of a reaction. So let us see this question. Define order of a reaction. Illustrate your answer with an example. Okay. First, I'll write the example. Then I'll try to define that. Let us see how to write. Now, suppose if I have <coughs> an elementary reaction. You know what is an elementary reaction? Elementary reaction is that which will occur only in one step. Right? When I go to for the complex reactions, which will occur in two steps or three steps rather. So elementary reaction, if I'm taking, so which occurs in one step. Okay. So now let us see. <clears throat> Suppose if I have a reaction A, it's going to react with B. It's going to form product C plus D. Now I'm going to write a stoichiometric reaction. Stoichiometric means balanced reaction. The ba after balancing, <coughs> the coefficient which I got is x. Here I've got y. Now order of the reaction is equal to x plus y. How? What is this x plus y? That means order of the reaction. If I have to write, it is concentration of A raised to the power to concentration of y raised to the power y right so now what is this is basically your order of the reaction so what did i do now if i have to write the definition for this just see different definition now for getting order what did i do i have added the powers isn't it now start from here start from here sum of powers okay of which powers did i take sum of powers of the concentration terms correct of the concentration terms of what of the reactants sum of powers of the concentration terms of the reactants correct so now sum of powers of the concentration terms of the reactants right that means in the yeah, concentration raised to the power anything is okay i'm writing in simple words so sum of powers of the concentration terms of the reactants in an if i write here in this term in an elementary reaction so in some books you'll be finding some of the uh, powers raised some of the concentration of the reactants raised to their powers also same not a problem if i uh, write if you have to write like that write like that it is also correct so order of the reaction is this now your order of the reaction if i have to write you can you get an answer it can be whole number it can be in a fraction it can also be, you will also get negative values. Uh, we will be doing some sums also. Negative values. So, they are asking you. So, you can write like this or as I said, another way. So, we have already done uh, your rate law and rate constant concept. So, let us come back and do one more concept that, that is called order of a reaction. So, let us see. I have given in the question form. Just see how to write this. Define and explain the order of a reaction. How is it obtained experimentally? Okay, fine. So, first I have to write the definition, correct? Yes. Well, before writing the definition, I will give an example and then we will see how to write that. So, first <coughs> let us write a rate of reaction, right? We very well know rate is equal to rate constant multiplied by A into B, right? Raised power of X and raised power of Y. So, how did I get this equation or how did I get this expression? I got it from this reaction A plus B giving me C plus D. The coefficient of X A was X. The coefficient of B was Y. So, when I write the rate constant, I have to write this expression, isn't it? This is what we have learned. Now, let us write what is order from this. Order is equal to sum of the powers X plus Y, right? Let me come back and write the definition. What definition of order is sum of powers which powers did i take sum of powers of the concentration of the concentration of which one of reactants from which equation from the from 
this is called what is this expression for it is called rate law isn't it from rate law expression that's it simple right so the, what do they give us they've asked me to explain the order of the reaction so i've written a reaction then i've taken the rate of the reaction that is called this is called what rate law isn't it rate law right so to calculate the order i'm going to power this x plus y so i've written the definition sum of the powers of the concentration of the reactants from the rate law expression done this is done with the definition now i'm done i have to explain what it is now when i whenever i speak about order of a reaction the values for order of a reaction can be whole numbers you will get an answer in whole number okay. the answer can also be in a fraction the answer can also be negative so not a problem yes in order uh, order can be you will get answer in any of these yeah. now after this let us see one more thing they have asked me to explain how is it obtained experimentally correct okay. so <clears throat> experimentally we can find out order of a reaction by these methods now observe you don't have uh, for your ncr cbsc is to derive this expression you no need to derive one one method to explain the order so let us see the uh, methods first method very uh, famous method that is your uh, bantoff's differential method right then you have we are going to do differential or we are going to integrate right integrated equations for you all we have integrated right equations this is one method this is second method third method called half time method half time method then you have one more method called oswald dilution method right so van der waals differential method also is there integrated rate equation method half time method oswald uh, dilution method so and last one which we are going to show in with the rate law that is graphical method so all these are the methods you don't have for your prescribed grade uh, 12 syllabus later on in the month of february or once i'm done with the syllabus i'll try to explain this also and suppose if it is for your entrance exams please note